with you from Auto House of Naples and today I have what was once the world's most expensive economy sedan. It is a 1982 Mercedes-Benz 300 SD. S stands for status and D stands for diesel. This is a turbo diesel engine and although uh, turbo diesel engine doesn't always mean that it's fast, it does when Mercedes-Benz makes it. Uh, on the outside we have a beautiful uh, gray Arctic gray metallic with the uh, all leather Palomino interior. In fact, the wood itself that you'll see throughout the car is real wood. And that means, yes, it's actual wood. And uh, there's no cracks in the dash, nothing of such. This car, uh, being 36 years old, has less than 200,000 miles on it. Those are actual miles on this vehicle. And if you know anything about uh, Mercedes-Benz and these 300 SDs, they run for what feels like forever. Brand new tires on this car as well. You can see the chrome is bright and shiny. I almost need my sunglasses, even though it's uh, nearly sunset, to uh, look at the chrome. Under the hood here, we have what is all original. And I believe this is going to be a three liter and it is a five cylinder fuel injected engine, uh, a turbo diesel engine, excuse me, um, whatever, uh, 120 horsepower, 123 horsepower this engine does produce. Uh, still an awesome beast, has many, many, many miles and lots of uh, love to give to its uh, new owners. We did acquire it here locally. So uh, we do know the previous owner of this vehicle. Uh, this weighs about two tons and it is a five passenger uh, sedan. Like I said, we do have the uh, brand new tires on this car. And one of the things is the mileage. So I believe on the highway we have about 33 miles per gallon and uh, in the city we have about 27 so you can definitely save on the mileage but these cars when they were brand new were about thirty-seven thousand dollars, which back in 1982 was nearly uh basically a very small house or a small house for that matter and uh you could not save whenever you bought it for thirty-seven thousand, but definitely once you uh, started saving on the gas mileage and the gas money, I guess that's when your savings kicked in to gear. Uh, once again, the chrome on the back, beautiful, all uh, surrounding the windows here. Definitely very shiny and up to par. And I'm going to open the hood for you and show you how much, or the trunk space, excuse me, how much uh, space there is. Plenty of space for basically everything. You and uh, your whole family's <laughs> luggage could fit in there. Uh, even the, uh, maybe even the mistress for some of you guys, we could just throw her in the trunk and let her ride along. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to take it out and test drive. I don't know if you guys did notice there is that awesome uh, sunroof as well. It all works, all windows work, which I'm going to show you. And the most important part about this car is that it is rust free and yes you did hear me it is rust free and uh, even being 36 years old we do have a completely rust free car and uh, like I said prior less than 200,000 actual miles on the vehicle so I will take it out on a test drive and show you how amazing she is all right I'm gonna get it started up All right, like I said, uh, less than 200,000 miles on the odometer and right here you can see 195,488. Here's your uh, oil pressure gauge, which is extremely important in these cars. And all the uh, colors are proper along with the um, functioning of the odometer and uh, speedometer area. No cracking on the dash. It looks as though this car was very loved by its owners, well maintained. Um, it's very difficult to purchase a, okay, that's a little cold. <laughs> yeah, the AC works good. <laughs> yeah, um, it is uh, very difficult to find a 36 year old, any vehicle um, without a cracked dash. 
or faded something along those lines I am personally not seeing anything even in the wood and this is real wood throughout the car as I had mentioned prior so um, to be this well preserved you know that it was always definitely um, taken care of by its owners uh, we do have the aftermarket or upgraded Pioneer uh, stereo that's for some people important because the original pepper radius that came in these cars are very difficult to work with especially as a driver it's really distracting one thing I will say is that uh, the wheel is extremely straight in this car I'm not having to um, move it back and forth which on this kind of road it is hard to keep a, a car straight because it is uh, tilted to both sides or leans however you say that to both sides uh, that way the water can run off because in Florida we have massive storms during summer so uh, to be able to keep this car so straight is actually saying an entire lot about uh, the way this car is built and uh, is capable of maneuvering these are typically broken off on any older car and on both the passenger and the driver, you can see that they are intact. The covers to the mirrors there and the lights even work, which is a huge uh, a plus to Can that. we do an acceleration run, please, from a bad stop so you see how this car takes off for an old car? Could you stop interrupting me? Of course I could. <laughs> but I just, you know, step on it and redline it. I'm going to put it. Sean on after you. <laughs> Come on, redline it all the way down, the pedal to the metal. Okay. Now the double kicks in. You know, it's 123 horsepower. Am I correct it's on that? It still moves, you know. And it, yes, I was going to say, it definitely still uh, gets going. And again, it's from 1982. This car I will mean, outlast anything on the road today. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I believe. I, I agree with you. Uh, Mercedes yes. themselves do not make cars like this anymore. This car is like a complete beast and it's a, a monster, if you will. And here is uh, two aftermarket uh, cup holders, which are awesome, especially for us Americans who like to eat in our cars and drink in our cars. Again, it's all leather, all that beautiful Palomino that you're seeing back there. The color is leather. Uh, and again, that is certainly not the way that they're made anymore. The leather is not made like this. You can tell they did not go cheap. Uh, again, this was the world's most expensive uh, sedan that there was, economy sedan um, in 1982. So this is the best of the best and um, it's definitely reliable. If you have any questions about it, it has been serviced by us and inspected. So uh, you have that peace of mind. Give us a call at 239-263-8500. Again, it's 239-263-8500. And you can find us on the web at autohousenaples.com. House is spelled in the German spelling of H-A-U-S. And uh, social media is Auto House Naples. And again, house is H-A-U-S. And I will see you guys on the next one. And in case you didn't remember, my name is Marianne.